VINCAP study is a trial, uh, it's an open label phase 2 study using vinflunine uh, in penis cancer. The design of the study and the aims of the trial are to look at the activity of vinflunine in penis cancer. Penis is quite a rare cancer and there aren't very many prospective trials in advanced disease. So the aim of the study was to look at the efficacy of vinflunine and also the tolerability. Tolerability is quite important because the studies that we do have to date have used combination chemotherapy, usually with cisplatin. And while some of those regimes have been shown to have some activity, actually they have also been associated with quite high levels of toxicity. And so the aim of this study was to see whether we could define a new chemotherapy agent that would be efficacious in the population, but with well-managed toxicity for that patient group. The design of the study was to recruit, um, so as I say, it was an open label phase two study, so it was designed to recruit 22 patients uh, to assess for the primary endpoint, which was clinical benefit rate. So that's the combination of objective response together with stable disease. And what we were looking to see is an ob a clinical benefit rate um, of at least 40% to meet the primary endpoint and to allow further investigation of influenin and penis cancer. There were secondary endpoints of the study as well, objective response rate, progression-free and overall survival, and also looking at toxicity and tolerability and the ability of patients to comply with treatment, by which I mean to be able to complete at least four cycles of vinflunin chemotherapy. What the results showed is that the, the VINCAP study did meet its primary endpoint, and so the objective response rate plus stable disease, so the overall clinical benefit rate was 45.5%, which exceeded the, the required threshold of 40% in the population. The objective response rate was 35% in the measurable population as well, and that is at least comparable with other chemotherapy agents and regimes that have been investigated in this population. One other important component of the results of VINCAP study are the toxicity and tolerabilities. This was an important part of the aim of the study and the hypothesis. What we found was that there was a manageable rate of serious uh, toxicity, so grade 3 and 4 adverse events. That said, vin vinflunin and vinca alkaloids in general are known to cause constipation, so we had to have very careful management of constipation up front. And the other important and notable toxicity was neutropenia. Five of the 22 patients experienced a grade three or four neutropenia, and so it would be important for, uh, for clinicians treating patients to be aware of that and to manage that carefully.